printing website, Mumsnet celebrates its 15th birthday. Not bad for a business that started in my next guest's back room. Justine Roberts came up with the idea of the website Mumsnet 15 years ago after a disastrous family holiday. Its simple aim was to make parenting easier, but it's since grown into an online phenomenon. Politicians were quick to seize on its popularity, with David Cameron becoming the first ever party leader to do a web chat, and others quickly followed. Over the years, they've championed high-profile campaigns aimed at protecting our children, while continuing to help millions of parents with their day-to-day -day problems. Well, website founder Justine Roberts joins me now. I can't believe it's 15 years. It's extraordinary. And you set the agenda now. Well, I don't know. I mean, the internet years are a bit like dog years, I think. So, <laughs> oh, I hate to think how old that makes us. So, you know, we're not so much the mother of social networks, but the grandmother, you know. But no, but it is, it is incredible how you do, you know, you can actually make headlines. You can change things. You know, politicians are listening to you. Yeah. Well, I think the internet gave people the power to collect and organise very easily. And, mm. uh, you know, as we know, mothers of very busy and they hadn't really got the time or um, even the energy to sort of raise the placards and go marching when yes. they've got all those other things to do. But actually, it's fairly easy to gather yourself and express yourself online. Mm. So I think the internet allowed people to do that. And, yeah. you know, Mumsnet became the forum where they chose to do that. And it is a, a massive force. Is it a typical Mumsnet user? Is there somebody, um, I, don't, I don't know how you would define them really. Uh, well, I'm, I mean, there's a typical age group. Right. I mean, most of our users are between 25 and 45. Right. Um, which we say is in their prime, which annoys me because I'm well out of it now. <laughs> We're still um, in their prime now. Yeah. Still, yeah, definitely. Um, but no, not not at all. There are mm. mums who are, you know, single mums. There are mums. Who, there are lesbian mums. There are mums of many, many children. Sure. There are mums of one children. I mean, they're really up and down the country. Even some from abroad. I mm. mean, there is no real typical mum anymore. I think families come no, that's true. in all shapes no, and sizes. They do very yeah. much so. It's a big responsibility because the, there are things you can change things. I mean, your campaigns have been very successful, particularly the campaigns about children, yeah. you know, about protecting children and about protecting their innocence, I guess, in many yeah. ways. Yeah, um, well, it's, as I say, it's not really our campaign. So all our campaigns come from our users. So it's right. something that our users feel really strongly about. And then people pile yeah. in, I yeah. guess. And you they know, share yeah. their stories and they're very, very powerful. So whether it's about, um, you know, um, products that sexualise young children yeah. or whether it's about the poor miscarriage care in this country, it's, mm. it's the power of that storytelling that really um, galvanises people That's to true. want to make a difference. And then the politicians listen. They actually do listen yeah. because, you know, it's a, we're talking a lot of women here. That's right. And I mean, we've got seven and a half force. million monthly users and, and politicians, as we know, what, they're, they're keen to court women. They, they're slightly, you know, they're slightly, there aren't many women in their senior teams. They, they're slightly, how do we deal with the women? Yeah. Um, and they think, ah, oh, Mumstep, we can talk to Mumstep because yes. there are lots of women there who may vote for us. And they do come round a bit more, I have to say, around election time. Well, I was just going to say, <laughs> you're going to be very busy, but they'll be annoying you. They'll all be annoying you and saying, come in, please, 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 can you do interviews with us? I mean, yeah. that's how it's going to be. Because yeah. they said that 2010 was the Mums Nate election. Yeah, they, we they were bombarded, sleep. actually. I bet we you had were. all the leaders, we had all senior ministers. Mm. And we only asked two on, and we had 12 appearances in the sort of six weeks before the election. Wow. So, and we only asked two on for balance to try because we try and stay. Of course, you have to. Neutral, no, yeah. no, you have to. And will that yeah. happen again this time? Do you think? Yeah, I mean, I was doing a round. I was doing MNQs with Nick Clegg yesterday, actually, Please. and we've had Natalie Bennett on, and we're talking to David Cameron's people and, and Ed's people about coming on in April, so that's right. soon now. Sure, isn't it? no, yeah. very much so. Um, so yeah, I anticipate the same. Mm. The and the same future thing. for Mum's Net, what do you think is going to? Well, very much the future is really where the users want to take it, to be honest. I mean, it, sometimes I feel like a bit of a puppet with a, you know, seven and a half million <laughs> hands up my back. Um, and so really it's what our users want from us. But sure. it's about them very easily being able to sh share their stories, whether it's via video or on mobile or all these other technologies and mm. platforms. We need to be able to provide that of opportunity course. for them. Oh, of course you do. Justine, thank you. Oh, no. An amazing for having me. 15 years. Extraordinary. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, no. Thank you so, so much. I got the wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Right, still to come this morning, could your bra be making you ill? Surely not. Dr Hillary explains all in a couple of minutes. And as One Direction fans come to terms with Zane's departure, we are live to America. In Zane, it's been called out here, 1D, one man.